Bame Farm fans. Uh, it's roughly September 20th, 2020, and we're working on second cutting. We just started this field. Uh, this field has been a staple for hay for many years. We saw the old International 46 here years ago, and we're still using the New Holland. And we've got about uh, four big loops around the outside. I rake second cut in circles. As you can see the distance, I had to rake quite a bit together to make them fat. But we gotta get places. This is field number two for the day. We made those 40 at that field where I got rained on last year. You remember that? Yeah, it was in September. First time cutting this backyard and we got rained on. Well, we're punching them out now. I gotta get to stacking. Take a quick break in the shade here and uh, admire our handiwork. 175 bales on the wagon. Now between the two, if, if I loaded the front of this one super full, like I tried to do, it'd be a full 175. So we're in the, we're in the 160s, not bad. Um, it was actually the best second cut volume I've gotten off this field. Uh, usually it's a little over a hundred for the for this area, but not bad. So for two little fields, we've got two more to go, and uh, we got a wagon coming. Uncle Jim's coming to pick this wagon up, and he's bringing us an empty one, and we got to hit the road. Hopefully he gets here quick. So it's going going well. Got I got a bunch of raking done yesterday, but we're still not gonna get everything done in this area. We're doing this all week long. Yeah, how'd you like that real fast section there? I raked them fat. I was raking seven, at least seven foot swaths together. I was raking 40 or 50 feet because I wanted to make hay and I wanted to do it fast because we got, we got some area to cover. And the biggest problem is the road time, which we can't see, but it's beyond those pine trees. You speedy baler driver? I guess. Speedy enough, we haven't lost. Okay, that was my fault if we dropped any bales because I wasn't there at the chute waiting. Uh, we haven't dumped any off from too much speed of bouncing, so that's good. Onward, ho, to the next field. Yes, whenever we get a wagon. Are we, ready? we are ready. This is field number three for the day. One more to go. And it's quarter to five. I guess we got all I have rake done, but I wanted to get more done. But well, come on. I got an empty bale chute, so I got a few seconds to film here. 
that's the joy of this late summer sun. It's real low in the sky and gets in your eyes. I'm so glad we're not doing this at the Old International because it had many less pickup times and the hay would just roll in front of the pickup. So with all these extra tines, it just scoops it right off the ground. We're done with field number three. And we came to the field with about this many bales on a wagon. There's I don't know, a dozen bales. And well, we have that wagon filled and have this many bales on a wagon. So in this, uh, I don't know if there's six acres here or something, made 160 bales. So we're doing 25, not quite 30 bales per acre on second cut. That's it's not bad. Uh, we have one more field to go get. Nick's bringing this one to the front because we got to head that way. And then we're going to come back after we're done and pick all this stuff up, head home. We're just having a big old hay party. Well, we're having another Bame Farm hayride. I'm sitting on top of 80 of the dreamiest bales of crabgrass. This stuff is so soft. I mean, I practically want to sleep on it. I might even eat it. Not really. Nick's driving the 28, and we got to come right up here to the curve of the road, hang a lefty, and pick up another load of hay. And oh boy, we got an hour left of daylight to get home. I'm not going to try to do more today because I got to rake a bunch again, and hopefully, like, rake as we bail because I raked all this yesterday. Oh, I'm going to have to get out and push. Good thing nobody's coming. Yep, there's another wagon load of hay. Yeah, but tomorrow we'll have another big hay party. We'll make Nick rake. I'll be driving Baylor. And then uh, I think we saw Sam earlier in the summer. He'll stack some. Oh, we made it. This gravel driveway is so loose I was afraid of not making it. Well, we didn't pick a low enough gear. But we're, we're, we're out of the road. We're out of the road. We got out of the road. That's all that matters. And we didn't spin on the driveway. Okay, so uh, I guess we're gonna take this mess as one and we're gonna throw the rake. We brought the rake along just in case if I got farther than I wanted to today. We didn't get as far as I wanted to. You know, it's just, the, you know, the way, the way my day goes. Had to deliver chickens this morning and, uh, you know, all the animal stuff. And finally, after lunch, we got rolling. <laughs> what? What'd you forget? What's you in the back of? Never seen him run that fast ever. Are you happy now? Yep. What makes you so happy? My chew in the back. Oh up. yeah, you're gonna lose like half your face. It's gonna fall off. Oh well. Like... We're home before it's totally dark. I might as well see all the hay. We saw the 80 bales there. This wagon load and the wagon load in front. About 400 bales for the day. How was the drive home? Cold. Yeah, well, about the end there, hey, we could have... I've been coming home from Owen, and it's been 9 o'clock, and it's been dark, dark. Yeah, I know. That's cold. Well, everybody's coming home with loads of something. We got hay and pumpkins out of the field. I guess that's what I missed while sweating over hay. Yeah, that's a good variety. There's obviously orange ones, not orange ones, kushals, lots of color. Fall, fall, fall. 